boy do i have something for you today guys my adventurers you're gonna enjoy this one let's keep watching so today i'm gonna make um some cr crab shrimp cake because i have i have shrimp and i have the imitation crab but i have some lump crab meat See, lump crab meat so i'm gonna make some i call it it's a seafood um, uh, cake so i have some jamaican seasoning yeah because i'm jamaican black pepper salt a little paprika uh, i've melted a little butter right here and i'm gonna put some eggs in it right there and here's the shrimp you know anyway i'm gonna put everything in this bowl um and then i'll come back uh mayo don't forget the mayonnaise I'll, I'll put everything in the bowl and then come back to you and i'm using three eggs because they're pretty small but you could use two depending on how much you know um seafood you have crab cake crab meat uh, shrimp whatever like see i don't measure things <laughs> you know i don't measure nothing that's about it so that's what that's the um mayo that i'm putting in so i'm gonna season this up now put some salt i'm gonna have to uh, grind the black pepper but i'm putting a little if you have um what is it called? Uh, Old Bay seasoning. You could use that and avoid some of these. But I don't have any right now, so I'm doing my thing. Use whatever seasoning you want. This is a Jamaican style gray seasoning, and I'm putting some in there for some flavor. And I'm gonna stir this. And I'm gonna put in the, the melted butter. Just some melted but I didn't measure it. And we're gonna stir it and try to get it together. So at this point I have two bowls with the egg mixture and one with the seafood so i cut up all the seafood that needs cutting up the shrimp you know i don't like i like them big i don't like them small so i cut up the shrimp big cut up the crab meat big and the one in the tin is already so then i'm gonna put those together um and then we add them to the other bowl Now I'm using these seafood, but you could use any seafood. You know, I make um, codfish fritters, and it's something similar, only that we use flour for codfish fritters. So you could use any seafood that you have, you know. So this is what I'm using, but you could use anything. I use any seasoning that you like. Some people put onions, but I don't like onions. If I do use onions, I would grate it. You know, I would grate the onions, but I, I didn't put any onions because I had all these other, you know, seasonings. So I don't want to overwhelm the thing. I want it to taste good. So, yeah. Everything is mixed up together. Put a little breadcrumbs and um, it's a little soppy, so I'm gonna leave it in the fridge. The breadcrumbs will suck up some of that juice. And if you um, uh, try to make them right away, you, you know, if I put more breadcrumbs, it's gonna be too dry. So you gotta leave it so that breadcrumbs can suck up some of that juice. So I'll come back to you when, um, when it's ready to be fried. I'm gonna fry them. 
So as you can see, I left it for a few minutes. Uh, I left it for about half an hour and everything is together. I'm gonna drop these like you drop fritters. So this is more like a seafood fritters, you know what I mean? Right, so let's um, get to the frying pan. Start dropping them. I'm just go down a bit. You know, I put oil in the pan, I forgot to mention that, of course, you know, you need oil to, to um, start on. Um, so you don't have to fry them, you know, you could also bake these. You could just put these in a pan or a container and put them in a toaster oven. Or put them in the oven, you know. Um, that's another option if you don't want all the grease, all right? So, if you decide to bake them, you could look at it as quite a healthy dish, right? This could be a very healthy dish if you don't bake them because it has no grease in it so far, you know. So, think of this as a healthy dish and a, a non fattening dish, great for um, people on a diet. is the last one finish them all see <clears throat> can't wait my mouth is watering <coughs> so i'll just turn off the stove now and then i'll put the pot back and that's it i'm gonna taste them and see how it tastes I'm gonna have some with crackers and that's my dinner I'm eating already and they're good one thing you have to do is cook it so that the shrimp cook out and it's a delicate balance because it has eggs in it and eggs make it burn pretty quickly as you can see at least look like they burn but they're not really burn but um to try to cook the, the, um, the only thing in there that really need to cook is the, is the shrimp and if you want you could cook your shrimp or buy cooked shrimp before but I use raw shrimp so you got to leave them long enough so that they the shrimp cook and the egg you know so this is a good recipe very nice recipe that you can use for brunch for lunch for for something when you don't want to have a big dinner and I don't want to have a big dinner today so this is my dinner.